Hello and welcome to your latest daily energy report. I'm Ben Lack, your chief conversationalist, and I'm here to bring you up to speed on the latest daily energy news. KDC Solar is developing a 6.1 megawatt ground-mounted solar facility at the Lawrenceville School on the school's campus in Lawrence Township, New Jersey. The solar facility, which will generate 8.6 million kilowatt hours of solar and electricity per year, will be installed by J. Fletcher Kramer & Son Incorporated. The solar facility will supply 90 percent of the electric power needs for the Lawrenceville School facilities. KDC Solar has signed in a procurement and construction contract with Kramer. The project is expected to use nearly 25,000 high efficiency 245 watt panels which are manufactured by Solar World Americas. Duke Energy has signed agreements with Siemens and Mitsubishi Heavy Industries to provide wind turbines for the two phases of Duke Energy's Los Vientos wind power project in Willacy County, Texas. Siemens will provide 87 2.3 megawatt turbines for Duke Energy Renewables 200 megawatt Los Vientos 1 wind power project, and Mitsubishi Heavy Industries will supply 84 2.4 megawatt turbines for the 202 megawatt Los Vientos 2 wind power project. Both sites expect the first delivery of the turbines by early of June 2012, and construction at both project sites will begin in December of this year, with commercial operation of the wind farms anticipated by late 2012. Car Charging Group will extend its collaboration with Column Technologies for the national rollout of 1,000 electric vehicle charging stations powered by ChargePoint Network. Car Charging Group has agreed to purchase and install charging stations across the United States, including major metropolitan areas. The agreement further expands ChargePoint Network, currently the largest network of independently owned charging stations in the world. Also, Car Charging Group will use ChargePoint Network cloud-based EV charging solutions to manage its national network of customers. That's your Daily Energy Report. To learn about these stories and more, please visit us at dailyenergyreport.com. And also make sure to check out our podcast on iTunes. For the Daily Energy Report, I'm Ben Lack. Thanks for watching and have a fantastic day.